we were talking about how it's nice to have Clark, who's so fresh-faced and lovely and new. No, unlike uh, Rob and myself, who are not getting together and, and have a prescription meds. So it's nice to have somebody who isn't. I heard you say something about your glasses, and I was like, I don't know what they're doing, but they're doing an old man joke. We're doing an old man joke. Yes, I know. Yeah. Well, I was saying that it was so nice to, to meet Clark last night. We you know, had a drink, and, uh, and I said, but I, I, felt, I felt really old. I put my glasses on. He said, it's not just the glasses. <laughs> That's, That's true. true. Thank you, Clark. Although I did have to ask you that. What did they say? What did they say? They asked for your ID. ID. Maybe it was because there's like a top age you're allowed to be in that bar. Okay. Why, Rob? You were okay. you were almost kicked out of your door. Okay, sorry. I just think I, I I love to think, uh, Clark here. I've enjoyed your work on the show and in the pilot. It's lovely to have you part of our universe Thank now. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. We can agree. Bye. 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 A yoni egg is something you put in your vagina. I gave one to both Ruth and Elena for their birthdays. Like there's one right underneath the floor. It's a crystal for relaxation because I'm sweating. Oh, did that help that conversation? <laughs> yeah, so that. Uh -huh. Clark back, though, everyone. <laughs> I love that. Okay, uh, Clark is only nervous because she has never done it before. Uh, Clark is one of the funniest people I'll ever meet in my entire life, and I'm so happy. No pressure, Clark. No pressure. Okay, no yeah, already being super funny. Thanks. Love it. Love it for that. Well, hi guys. Uh, yeah, do, you like to, do you have anything you would like to say before we start the yeah. the questions, the Q and A? Well, nothing but thank you guys for coming. <laughs> Yeah, man. So, all good. We're so, so, so happy that you're here. You fit in perfectly. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yay! Yay! All right. Let's take a question. Let's take some questions. Do so, you see so anything? Right, like, I know. They just hit me in the back. Hi. Right here. Oh. I'm sorry. This is for Kim. Hi. Hi. It's so, okay. Oh, and for, for them, you still get to answer it, too. So does <laughs> Brianna. Everybody gets to answer it. I absolutely yeah. yes. 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 loved your character on Another World. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
this is going to make my brain. Does anybody know this song? No. Hard no. Hard no. no. And that's why it's my guilty secret. Um, it's still a secret because none of you know what I'm talking about. Wait, I can't think of one because I never feel guilty. Yeah, right. right. If it makes me happy, I'm not going to feel guilty. Yeah, girl. I will sing the shit out of anything, whether it's a guilty pleasure or not, but I am a big fan of Celine Dion. <laughs> I think she's pretty badass, man. Why would that be a guilty pleasure? I know, but you that's do not know, like, it's, from it's, Montreal, right? It's like, I was just listening, like, I, if, if, for instance, Chris has, like, an amazing playlist that he has for him and I, and every song that comes on is awesome, whether it's, like, Salt and Peppa, or Peaches, or, but he, um, like, if my heart will go on, suddenly came on, it would be like, one of those things where it's like, mm, nothing, what? Nothing? I would still sing, though, I would still sing. Through. And he's recently put Debbie Gibson on that playlist, which makes me really happy. Yeah, you know. I thought of one. What? I thought of what? one. What? What? But it's now, not before. I still find myself singing um, Jonas Brothers songs. <laughs> <laughs> which I was obsessed. With Nick Jonas in high school. Oh, I don't think I it's your generation me. below us. So I don't think I even know a Jonas Brothers song. What's one? It's the most beautiful time of the year. Oh, <laughs> oh that's a Jonas Brothers song? Isn't it? Now I'm getting confused. Is Wait, it? there's Love Bug, but is that only Nick Jonas? That is all of them, right? Anyway, it's anyway, been a while, but I awesome. single photo of this moment of the panel is going to be Kim is hearing a high pitched noise <laughs> and I forgot what English sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand what anybody's oh, saying. Okay, cool. I love that. I love it. Joni Rose. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good. Um, so I just want to start by sending my love from the Nerds and Beyond staff. Um, we love you guys very much. Um, I love you guys. Our, my question is, if you would travel with the doctor in the TARDIS anywhere in time or space, where would you go? Which doctor? Uh, the newest one, obviously, Jody Whittaker. Are we talking about Doctor Who? Like, because David said I'd go strict about that. Yeah, I mean, Ted. <laughs> Girls, though, that wasn't being flipped, I'd be doing the flipping. You ever see those in the movies? You're like, oh, yeah, look at that girl, she's so tough, she's flipping all those dudes around. That'd be me. I'd be with a little dude just so I could do the flipping. Um, big goals, big goals over here. Um, for the sing and dance, I'd go back to the disco era. But truly, not to make it dark, there's no time I'd really want to go back to because someone like me would not have been well accepted. So I'm going to stay in the present. Yeah, girl. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Hi, my name's Emily. Hi, you look so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I'm wearing a lot of makeup. I really don't. <laughs> Fuck you. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love you. Here I come. <laughs> Sometimes I forget that I don't know you guys, and dropping a hard F bomb in your face is maybe not exactly what you're expecting. But you can still go fuck yourself. <laughs> okay, you had a question, my love. I'm scared to answer it now. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, that's really hard. 
hard because you know I did it a decade and a half ago. I know. I'm old. Oh. Like, um, uh, oh, you know what, you know what, okay, so little known fact, little known fact. The first time you ever meet the father, the boy's dad, he's in a band, right? Now, um, I do remember this, there's a member of the band who has blonde hair and a cockney accent and is sleeping while he's cuddling a chicken, a roast chicken. Does anyone remember this? I do, because that man is one of my best friends on the planet, Ray Porter, who I've known since I was 19 years old. And so it was really, and we did Shakespeare together. So it was really fun to like have my world in the same set and watch the hilarity that he came up with. Like, he was, he was cuddling a roast chicken like it was his stuffy. <laughs> It was hilarious. <laughs> Thank you. I also liked the one with the pigeon where I got to have a nice emotional conversation about what motherhood is. But it's too early in the panel to start crying, so I like that one too. Yeah, it's fine. Um, 
honestly, these days, so many, so many things, which is so amazing. Growing up, I was actually just talking backstage to Jason about Halle Berry and how if it wasn't for her, I probably wouldn't be here. Just one woman of color who's beautiful, who set the standard. But today, there's so many people like Nina Waithe and Issa Rae with a show like Insecure um, that are really representing women of color in the industry, um, which is still a struggle. So yeah, just everyone who's doing their thing today to make sure that everyone's getting represented. And not just African Americans. Asian, Native American, everybody. It's not just black and white. So anytime I see anything like crazy rich Asians or anything, I'm just happy right now. I don't even know if that answers the question, but um, I don't usually do that, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah. um, in terms of representation, I can't think of anything on screen specifically. If I was to name something, something that popped to mind was the show Better Things. Anybody ever seen that show? Um, it's about a woman, it's a comedy, dark comedy, but a woman who's a mother of uh, three young girls, she's an actress, and she's very funny and salty and fucks up a lot, and, you know, is working a lot, caring for her mom, and so I feel like I can relate a lot to that with my life, but I also, as a professional, relate a lot to professionals uh, and comedic women, comedic women who right now seem to be really loud um, with uh, things that are going on in the news right now who are using their voices not just to make jokes but are using their voices to to um, represent people who are not being heard and who are too scared or too shy to be heard and uh, I think that if I don't if that's not a representation of me it's something that I inspire uh, aspire to be and uh, I think that's a really cool way to use media right now. And I think that I want to see more of that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Hi. Uh, first, I just want to say I love all your characters. You're all very good on the show. Thank you. But um, uh -oh. I just want to wonder, if you guys are able to switch characters, who would you switch with and how would you play the character? With just the three of us up here, or with anybody on Supernatural? Either or. Well, probably a no, you need to specify that, because it's just the three of us. Just the three of us? Just the three of us. Three of us. Three of us. Three three of us. Oh, well, I think that I'd really like to make sure that my Minnesota accent yeah. is put to good use. I hope that backstage already. So, no, I think that I would say that I suggested to Clark, I was like, they're going to ask questions like, who would you play if you wouldn't play someone else? And Clark was like, I don't play, you just play that accent. Oh, are we getting out of Minnesota, Mom? I'm so bad at it, please don't. Go, go, go. Oh, yeah. You got this. Don't think you, you go. That's all I can do. Oh, yeah, you go. Mine was Minnesota. There you go. It's tricky. When I was doing that that scene, where they were like, why do you have all, all of these? Oh, it was the flamethrower line. It's very tricky because there's the Minnesota friendly is a dialogue that has a sing song built into it. Uh, that's kind of a, one of the main differences between that and like a, a middle Canadian accent. They all have hard vowels, but Minnesota has a sing song. But you know what other accent has a sing song to it? Fucking Irish. Irish. <laughs> so when we're doing that scene, every once in a while, uh, uh, the that line became. So who knows how to use a flamethrower? <laughs> and I go, and I take that again. Who knows how to use the flamethrower? <laughs> that my lucky charm. I was like, we got your bottle over yeah. here. Oh, 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 be the Adam Fergus. <laughs> yeah, so it's a pretty fun accent. Uh, that doesn't answer your question at all, but. <laughs> See, um, I told you. Yeah. yeah. Wait, sorry. Yeah. Um, it's okay. Yeah, Don is pretty funny. We could both play Don. Yeah, we could. All three of us could play Don. It's true. Oh my god. I can't play either of these characters. They're too good at it. So oh, I'll just okay. sit in the corner and direct them. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I know. I'm sorry. Look, it's the best we could do. I don't know why. He's so he's leaving. He's yeah. leaving. Question of the planet. 
Yeah, don't patronize me. I know, I know it was a bad answer. I'll get you next time, boy. What's up? Hi, my name is Bella, and first of all, I love all three of you and admire all of you so, so much. So, just thank you for being here this weekend. Um, and my question is, if you could choose any book to be a TV show character to be a part of the Wayward Girls group, who would you want to see? I don't know what more golden sunset. Why does somebody go, ooh? <laughs> oh my gosh. Any other character from a different, I want Nanny Aga on my team. Who? Well, Yo, thank yes. you, two people that know what I'm talking about. I think that's going to go Honestly, I want Dobby. It's a red Is uh, 
is kind of better than Deadpool 1. So good. Oh, so good. Um, who would I be? I don't know. I think it's better. Who would I be, you guys? Black Widow. Okay, Black Widow, final answer. Thank you. Thank you. This guy, he's like, God, there she goes again, the shitty answer. Never answering a question for herself. Cool. You're giving me hives. I'm starting to stop and get off my shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. Why are you nagging me? <laughs> Where are you? Put your hand up. You okay? Okay, great. You seem like you're pretty good with this stuff, so I'm gonna just throw it at you. Yeah, I can tell. Okay, go. Hi, I'm Steph. Hi, Steph. Self-actualized, very grounded young women, especially for their age, um, and they're also silly. They're great actresses. They're stunning women, and they they know how to hold their own, which I kind of I, honestly I didn't expect for women at such a young age. And Clark can eat more food than the Dallas fucking Cowboys. <laughs> it is remarkable. Only junk food, though. No, he eats some sandwiches. She would literally go to craft services and fill her pockets with sandwiches. <laughs> Not like just handfuls of trail mix or something, but full hoagies, like, in her fucking little skinny like jeans. Me. And when she was FaceTiming me, she was like, is there going to be food at the convention? I was like, her main concern. That's what I knew. I loved her. I was like, oh my god, you're a food forward person. I love that. We had, I, I did, I met, I met the same way, I met the, the, all of the women different times, but um, I will tell you about one of the most bonding experiences we had was the weapons like training. Uh, in, the, uh, <laughs> in the rain? In the rain and the fire rain. range. It was terrifying, but it was so funny because we all had both really good. such different but, experiences. Like right. Ram Dean was like, yeah! <laughs> Shotgun, shotgun! You know, and I would say you were much more like, now, how is this working in a safe and logical manner? And this is how I get the center. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna, all right? Like, which is hilarious because this one, for being the elegant queen that she seems, is fucking hilariously like.